You know, when they asked me to co-host the 2002 Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, I thought to myself, barely dressed supermodels, lingerie flying through the air, and me smack dab in the middle of it all. And you know what? It's all true. Tonight from New York City, it's the 2002 Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. And now your hosts, Mark McGrath and Heidi Klum. Welcome to the 2002 Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. It's an honor to be here tonight to help get the entire country focused on two very important things, supermodels and lingerie. At this very moment, the top supermodels are getting ready to model a Victoria's Secret collection that will totally blow your mind. Indeed. And throughout the show, Michelle Behenna will be taking you where most people would kill to be right now backstage. It takes a certain kind of woman to be a Victoria's Secret model. Thousand try out, but only a few are selected. I think if you were asking a man on the street what Victoria's Secret is, I think they'd define it in terms of tall, voluptuous, sexy, beauty, cuddly, beautiful models. Gorgeous. Yeah. She's hot. Yeah, 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 right here. I'm wearing some right now. Today we were calling in girls for casting. There's 28 girls in the show. We probably will have gone through many hundreds of girls. I'm here for the casting. I'm a little bit nervous. Oh God, <laughs> there's lots of people here. It's not that easy to walk out in bra and panty. It's so racking. Everybody at that table, they're booking an awful lot of girls on a continuing basis, always looking at new faces. We should definitely, definitely. Use, definitely, yeah. Use, definitely. Yeah. No, I don't think so. She's so adorable. I love her yeah. smile. She's cool. She's great. Her body's insane. What do you think? No, no way. 19, and how many are we seeing tomorrow? We're looking for glamazon girls. Power. Really tall. Energy. Sexy and provocative. Strength and dignity. Everybody wants to do the show. That's the dilemma. But you have to make the decision, is she a Victoria's Secret model? Come do our show. I'd love to. <laughs> a girl either has it or she doesn't. One of our favorite musicians of all time is here tonight. He sold over 100 million records and won a total of seven Grammys. Performing the classic song, Can't Stop Loving You, please welcome Phil Collins.
2002 Victoria's Secret Fashion Show when we come back. Sometimes when I'm having a particularly difficult time at work and the fax machine may be jamming or I forget to circulate a memo, I'll think to myself, what would Tyra do? I had been nominated for the Emmy 19 times. And the night I finally won, nobody knows this, I was wearing a Chantilly lace bustier. And it has been there for every important event in my life ever since. Okay, you might be wondering why my beautiful co-host is wearing a bathrobe. Well, it's because we're only seconds away from the fashion show. We promised you the sexiest lingerie known to man, and we are fully prepared to deliver. But before we start, here's an exclusive look into what leads up to this very moment. This is the Super Bowl of fashion shows. Presentation is where we decide who's coming out when, so it's not two blondes or three blondes or three wings at one time. You don't want to put the biggest breasted girl before or after the flattest chested girl. And it's who's wearing what. I'm very nervous to wear this down the runway. I call it Wilma Flintstone on her honeymoon night. <laughs> it's really a puzzle that is put together. It's really important for the clothes to fit perfectly because you're walking down there with very little on. This year we have a $10 million bra. $10 million. Woo. Every single outfit is made for the girl. It fits like a glove. It is a puzzle with many pieces. The technical crew, the special effect crew, the lighting, the music, hair, makeup. We're talking about the 28 most important models in the world. They're going to walk quasi naked out there. Don't feel that you're walking out naked. Just try to forget about all that and think you're in the clothes you came in and make it really, really natural. Dozens of girls. 150 musicians. Many hundreds of people building. Millions of people watch a show. And 34 racks of bras and panties. And it's over just like that. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for the 2002 Victoria's Secret Fashion Show.
when we come back, the Victoria's Secret girls bring the jungle onto the runway. Yes, Thursday. I had recently lost my job of 15 years, and I came home one day seriously depressed, and I dug through the pile of collection letters and cancellation notices to find the Victoria's Secret catalog in the mail. When I saw Heidi Klum in a red, unlined, lace demi-bra with matching garter and panties, it really gave me the confidence to march back in there and demand my job back. The catalog, it's really great with all those those bras and those girls and it helps me with my homework we found a perfect way to get everyone into the holiday spirit here to perform eight days of Christmas please welcome Destiny's Child Massage my feet on the sixth day of Christmas. My baby gave to me a crop jacket with dirty denim jeans. On the fifth day of Christmas, my baby gave to me the point that he wrote to me. Feeling that it feels feel so good, he makes me feel so in love, 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 love. If he only knew what he does to me, my man, my man, my baby. Oh, he's so, he's so sexy. I'm so in love, 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 love. How I love him for his generosity, my man, my man, my baby. Third day of Christmas, my baby gave to me a gift certificate to get my baby TVs. On the second day of Christmas, my baby gave to me a Victoria's Secret shopping spree. On the first day of Christmas, my baby gave to me quality T I M E. Feeling that I feel, feel so good, he makes me feel so in la 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 la. If he only knew what he does to me, my man, my man, my baby. Oh, it makes you feel so good. difficult task known to man is shopping for lingerie. It's a talent we're not born with. It has to be learned. Jason Seahorn is one of the NFL's most... He's been put to the test by some of football's most dangerous players. But now, he's about to face his biggest challenge yet. Welcome to Victoria's Secret. You? Um, yeah, sorry about that. I'm just a little nervous. I'm trying to buy my wife, Angie, some lingerie, and I don't know where to start. Don't worry. I can help you. Let me explain to you some do's and don'ts about lingerie shopping. 
No matter what size she is, always buy extra small. And let her do the returning and find something that really fits. When shopping, don't try to act out your unfulfilled high school fantasy. For both your benefits, do get her something that has easy access. And don't just get her a top without getting her a bottom. You wouldn't go out on the field with shoulder pads and no jock. And finally, do remember that timing is everything. After one month, get her silk pajamas. Four months, a nighty. Eight months, stretch lace and garter skirt. And after one year, the tiniest thong allowed by law. Thanks. She's gonna love this outfit. You're about to take a walk on the wild side with the Victoria's Secret Angels. People ask us how we um, keep the music playing. I always say that we have our little secret. I just have no clue where he is. Mark Anthony! What are you still doing? Are you supposed to be out there with a the band? What are you doing here? But I'd rather be here. Just, just. You have to really go now. You have to go. You have to go. They're waiting. They're waiting. They're waiting. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> 
Mark Anthony. Tonight's event wouldn't be possible without the help of a lot of talented people. We'd like to thank one particular guy who really helps keep it all together. Well, when Victoria's Secret contacted me and told me that I had the job as the model's personal assistant, I told them right away, look, I got three questions for you. When, where, and I, I guess actually it was just the two questions. When and where. All my friends Thank think you. this job is real Thank easy. You. Just a lot of beautiful women in lingerie. <laughs> It's just not Thank that you. simple. Great job. The models rely on me for everything, and I have to give them 120% all the time. The interview at the Mercer is now at 4. Mm -hmm. Yay! That's a yay. Not only do I make sure the trains run on time, but I do whatever it takes to make their lives easier. Period. Do you have any idea on when that's going to be ready? Here you go. I get involved in every aspect of the models' lives, and they turn to me for those hard-to-solve problems that really only I can handle. 106, 107, 108. OK, Heidi, we have a go. Come on, boys. Come on. Time to make boom-booms. Time to make boom-booms. We're on the road so much that I take it upon myself to provide the girls with a, a real sense of family. You know, sometimes I think, I don't have a life of my own. And then I think about, oh, hold on one second. Bonjour. Oui. Merci. Je suis en télémage. Oui. OK. Ciao. But then I think about the girls and how much they love and they need me. And I realize they are my life. Models coming through. Models coming through. Watch it, fella. Models coming. Move it, lady. Go, girls. Go. Have fun. Have fun. Heidi. Your water. Thanks, Cliff. Cliff. She called me Cliff. My name's Chris, but okay. <sighs> okay, Tara Banks is about to flamenco across the runway.
up a little piece of heaven on earth when the 2002 Victoria's Secret Fashion Show continues right here on CBS. The whole reason I became famous and powerful was to meet lingerie models. Not to hit on them or to date them, but so I could start a Save the Models Foundation. These are extraordinary women who should be fed, provided with housing and cared for. Preferably by me. Right now, we're going to bring you behind the scenes to show you exactly how to make the wings of the Victoria's Secret Angels. Whoa, wings! I feel very happy to be a red angel. We're doing pheasant and peacock and leopard, fluorescent and neon and red and black. We start with the drawing. Ted then takes the form and turns it into a three-dimensional shape. The next step is to do a base that all the feathers are going to be attached to. We glue the feathers on. Everything's hand-painted, everything's hand-done. We're doing 12 runway angels. We have something that's 12 foot tall, and then we have something that's maybe two, three feet. And eight flying angels. Every year it seems to be more spectacular. The big question every year is who gets to wear the wings? I have to have wings. Tati's like, I'm not going on the one way unless I have wings. Otherwise, I get pissed off. And now, the Victoria's Secret Angels take flight.
Giselle and Naomi are all backstage getting ready for the big moment you don't want to miss. Coming up next, here on CBS. Direct from the world's most exciting fashion show. A fabulous new collection of lingerie.